Yes, I think uh, understanding that medicine's a team game. And uh, I think coming from a background competitive sport and almost competing through university and through uh, your first part and second part exams for the fellowships, there was always some degree of competitiveness because you knew some were going to fall by the wayside. So you, one tended to be a bit competitive, uh, building a practice, some were going to succeed, uh, getting the right uh, positions in hospitals. There was, there was some degree of competition all the way along the line, getting on training programs. And then one got into actual practice, uh, having got the fellowship, and it took a bit of understanding how important the team game was. And uh, unless you have, uh, you're the captain of the team, uh, the surgeon's the captain of the team, and bit by bit by bit, you rally around yourself an anaesthetist who is outstanding, but also supportive. You have assistant surgeons who are supportive. Uh, you have your theatre staff, the scrub nurse, um, even the theatre technicians, the recovery room nurses, uh, the nurses in the ward, uh, the orderlies, the physios, uh, the girls at the front uh, reception desk of the hospital, uh, your secretarial staff and your family. They are all part of the team and if that team isn't of the highest standard, loyal and consistent, it's not going to work. And the same with the family of the patient. The family of the patient runs the rehabilitation. They, I know surgeons who don't phone the family after operations, which is a fatal error. They will really be the ones who are the quality controllers who will report the first complications and so forth.